So let's go back to his origin story because his creativity machine and what later became Dabus, D-A-B-U-S, the device for autonomous bootstrapping of unified sentience. Wow, say that out loud. He was actually creating AI to be aware, to be an intelligence, and it's still going on. And while courts are just gonna look at it as how do you fit in our world now, what Stephen gets so much of my respect for is he's like, this is what's happening now and into the future. Take a look at what's being created. See, what's really cool about what Stephen's doing is it's not just about AI, but it's about AI getting recognition for what it creates and maybe even rights. And that is a hard thing for any court to do <laughs> anytime in the near future, but it's needed. And you have these people like Stephen to shake things up from an obvious common sense viewpoint. In March, the DC Circuit Court in the US gave its decision in Taylor versus Perlmutter on an artwork titled A Recent Entrance into Paradise, which Taylor insisted was autonomously created by his system, Davos. 